Hi, my name is Kisa Lynch. I'm a nurse practitioner, and I've been a nurse practitioner for about two years now. And I'm going to talk about lesbian and bisexual health care and the barriers to access of that health care. Um, I'll first start out with um, identifying that 1-4% to of the lesbian population can identify themselves as lesbian and bisexual. Um, barriers to access of health care for this population include lack of insurance, legal rights, um, patient to doctor communication, cultural competency, um, shut out support systems and reluctance to seek care, um, discrimination, homophobia, heterosexism, and fear of disclosure put lesbians at an increased risk for alcoholism, cervical and breast cancer and lung cancer, um, cardiovascular disease, depression, um, suicidal, suicidal ideations, and sexually transmitted diseases. Um, payment for this population is typically self-payer insurance. But as we all know, we're in the health care um, insurance crisis, and lack of um, health insurance is a contributing factor for barriers to access of health care. Um, according to the Institute of Medicine, health insurance is an important factor for all U.S. residents, and it helps receive um, timely and appropriate health care. Lack of insurance also contributes because of the simple fact that lesbians usually get insurance through their partners. Um, it's hard for them to get in health insurance. 20 to 30 percent of lesbians are uninsured compared to the 14 percent of the U.S. population that is insured, um, is uninsured. The general lack of this availability puts lesbians, their partners, and their whole family at um, increased risk of health disease because of the improper health care. Also, I'd like to point out that 50 percent of financial um, bankruptcy filings are due to medical expenses. Um, second of all, um, to pick a health care provider, there's really no restrictions on who the lesbian population um, choose. I always point out that there is the Gay and Lesbian Medical Association that helps, keeps a listing in regards to um, what, who's involved in that organization, who has extra training in being a culturally competent health care provider, and who can address issues that are specific to this population. Um, there, there are no specialized services for the lesbian um, and bisexual women population, but as I stated earlier, they are at increased risk of alcoholism, sexually transmitted diseases, lung and cervical cancer, depression, suicidal ideations, and cardiovascular disease. Um, so it is very important that we as healthcare providers and as a population, we get extra training in regarding of, in means of being culturally competent. Um, fundamentally, there's, um, this, lesbian and bisexual women deserve the same high quality health screening preventive care as all women. So the Healthy People 2010 have illustrated that it's very important to have access to health care and one in ten of your, their indications include barriers to access of health care so it is an important thing that needs to be addressed. Um, elements of health care in and of itself just in regards to managed care, legal rights, and the attitudes of training of healthcare professionals put the lesbian and bisexual um, population at risk for those problems.